Okay, we're doing uh, Miss Cheyenne first. Uh, sounds like things are about. She's doing. She's doing okay in her in her home down in the Houston area. Kind of rocking along, doing her thing. It's is it is it a permanent slot, y'all? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. sorry. You couldn't find the mute. Unmute. <laughs> yes. It's like in, into her adult years too. Yes. Yay. Good. 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 Okay. Um, let's see. Is Miss Pack here? She doesn't usually come. I don't believe. No, oh, she's here. No, I'm here. Yeah. Where let me find you? She's usually very good about coming, Judge. Actually, where so. are you? I'm here. There you are. Okay. Yeah, it took me a while to find you. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Sorry. Lots of people to screen. Uh, Miss Pack uh, is uh, Cheyenne doing well? You think? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ms. Mystic, Ms. Pack, Ms. McClure, anything y'all need? Mr. Sturmer? No, I'm good. Nothing mm -hmm. from you. Okay. Ms. Uh, let's see. Ms. Beatty, y'all are good? Casa? Yeah, she could maybe use some funds for clothing, but other than that, she's very good, Judge. Okay. Does Ms. Pack ever take anything down there when she visits her or anything? It's I don't have transportation to get to Houston. Oh, okay. Uh, could Casa help her out a little bit, or why don't you ask the Child Welfare Board if they could help? Okay. Well, I'll make that request, Judge. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll just put Casa to contact Child Welfare Board about a clothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna say everything. Continue. Tell her hi. I'm glad she's doing well, and she's taking her meds, doing her therapy. All everything sounds fine. Okay. When do y'all want to come back? Unless y'all need a special hearing before. <laughs> I think six months is good. She's gonna be there. We're. I mean, after that, we'll have a more better, a uh, better plan. Cause she'll be 17 in July. We got to come up with a plan here for her. Um, by the time she turns 18 next year. Okay. And she had her circle of support and all that. We got that pending. That's been because they just hired a new facilitator. So we're, we're on it. Okay. We're, we're going to get that going. Yeah. Since she's over the deadline, let's do it. Um, <clears throat> let's do it August 2nd. That's before school starts, gets almost through the summer. Let's do that. Do y'all agree that it could be heard via Zoom? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, Ms. McClure, uh, you and Ms. Pack, we will see y'all on August 2nd, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Judge. I read the okay, thank you, Ms. Pack. Uh, report. Uh, sounds like Nathan is still rocking along in his RTC. Um, let's see, it's a caseworker here. I don't see her. Anybody that looks like it could be familiar? No. Okay. Well, um, Miss Mystic, uh, Mr. Sturm, what do y'all need today? I know he wants to be adopted, but we have those issues. Yeah, I don't think we're asking for anything new today. He's, he's, he's just the most polite. I know um, he um, loves to play video games. So I told him the one video game I've ever played, and he taught me some things on that. So that was really cool. Good. So, but he's yeah. doing well at school and everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's trucking along. He's just so polite. Every time I visit, I, you know, do you want to have a meeting with the judge? No, I'm good. <laughs> so good. he's good. Okay. Well, let's just say everything. Do you need costs on this case, Miss Mystic? I think so. I mean, I can ask Aiden, but. Okay. Yeah. I just, I mean, he's getting to be a 15 year. He is 15 yeah. year. Maybe he's 16. delightful. Yeah. Yeah. We'll okay. get his well, just just let me know. Okay, know, we'll definitely we'll say everything continue and we'll have a hearing for Aiden on 8223. He he just sounds like a great kid. Does what does his therapist say about those? Are there still tendencies? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, I mean, um I know that he's not getting in trouble and things, but you know, but I'll get more info. 
for you on okay. that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Sworn. Let's see. I read the reports. Oh, no, I didn't get a cost report. I got Ms. Holloman's report. Um, Your Jay Honor, the report is, was actually filed. Well, when was it filed? That was filed last week. Well, uh, and Helica gets files together on Friday, and she didn't get it. So um, I don't know when it was filed. I'll look. Um He's with his family and rocking along, waiting for the adoption to go through, right? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, we're, we're close. I think there was just a couple papers that needed some signatures, and we're very close. I spoke with um, Denise Hyde about it. I don't see it in my email, Miss uh, Hamley. I have a CPS report. Ms. Trinidad, can you look and see if you can find it in our email on uh, Tanks? No, ma'am, I can't find it. The last thing I have from CASA is in October on okay. Tanks. So, Ms. Ms. Hanley, make sure we're on the uh, e-file, e y'all's e-file list, otherwise we're not getting them. Um, I'll recheck that, Your Honor, but I do know it was uh, done on Friday. Well, well it's week, at, least, at least the week before court, so that's not even right there. So, did you get it, Mr. Sturmer? Miss Missy, did you get the cost report? No, I didn't. Okay. So, the placement's still hope, still good to go. Everything, Miss Colvin, everything's no problems, huh? No problems. Are they going to dock here or there? Here. Here, good. Good, good. Okay. Do they have an adoption lawyer yet? Yes, ma'am. Denise Hyde is their adoption yeah. lawyer. Okay. So she'll, we, she'll get here. Yeah. I, I spoke with her about this because we kind of were thinking it was going to happen. Um, today but yeah. there's just a few more things and she's getting that work done okay good okay um let me look at something real quick court reports for hearings deadline the department causes to ensure that all fine electronic delivery is completed no later than noon on the seventh business day in advance of each scheduled cps hearing so that's even before last wednesday so anyway, okay, anything else anybody wants to add? I don't, I don't see a CPS person here. Chris, Crystal Holloman's the CPS person. Yeah. Hey, he also, your honor. Is she, oh, there you are, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's doing great. I'm gonna fly out there and see him Friday and do adoptive oh. placement paperwork with um, the Bernards. When? When do, uh, so then once you do that, when are we thinking everything will go down? Oh, uh, we're hoping, in, we're hoping early April. Okay. Yeah, but okay. he's well, doing I'm, great. I'm just going to say, then we'll have this next hearing. I'm going to set it far off, 920, because it's not going to happen, right? Right. And y'all agree to Zoom? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Ms. Colvin, you did too? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Okay, well, we'll say everything continue. I know Denise Hyde will be in touch with us about when she wants to set it. And we'll see y'all in adoption here. Ms. Mystic, who is here? Let's see, is the case, case workers here? Ms. Weeks, she's one of the foster moms, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, I read that Kamari is doing well, but sounds like we're going to have to make a move. Is that correct, Ms. Moore? That's correct. We received a discharge on Friday for Kamari. Okay. What else do you, what else, do you know when that's going to happen, Ms. Moore? What's the plan? I know that there is another family within the uh, Arrow Agency that's interested in Kamari, and she's done respite there. So we're looking into that placement. We're just still trying to uh, work out uh, when that can happen. So Arrow's there. Uh, is the 
<clears throat> it's a foster mom's agency. Yes, correct. Okay, good. Well, that's and up in that same area, you said, correct? Yes. That's wonderful. Great, great. Uh, Miss Mystic, what do you need? Nothing, Judge, other than, you know, getting her looked at for a new placement. I'm sorry to see the family go, um, but, you know, she's in therapy and um, some of the behavior she was exhibiting have decreased, but um, it sounds like this is where we're headed, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Ms. Stromer, what do you need? I don't think I need anything, Judge. Okay. She's doing okay in school and everything, though? Hello? She's doing okay in school? Yes, um, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to say everything continue. Placement is agreed by CPS and attorney ad litem. So, Ms. Mystic, you need to make sure you're involved in the placement situation. Um, I have the next hearing on August 2nd. Does everybody agree that it can be heard via Zoom? Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And, Your Honor, Thank you. have you already okay, taken up the Tankson matter from yes. the 830 docket? Yes. Um, I have my client with me, Ms. Ms. Tankson, who's the grandmother of Javion. Um, I didn't even hear that hearing called. What was the result of that? Um, hold on just a second. I thought y'all had already been released. We're, we're still here, Your Honor. Ms. Turner, I thought all the, the, the parent, well, the, the child's in an adoptive placement and the parents have all been terminated, correct? That's correct. Uh, Chandler's rec represent the grandparents. Yes, I represent the grandmother, um, Teresa Tankson, who is the um, placement for uh, the sister, Janessa, the, si the older sister of Javion. I mean, she has a custody order from a long time ago, wasn't involved in this, but... That's true. Um, I, I thought I didn't know. I know they're trying to do the adoption, but I'm assuming, Judge, I'm fine to reach out to the adoptive family to see if they're good with maintaining contact for the siblings. And Kayla, Denise Hyde is their adoption lawyer. So maybe the three of us can visit. Yeah, that would be great. Um, okay. We can do that after all the okay. hearings. Yeah. We didn't do anything. We just said everything continued. The next hearing is uh, 920. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Miss McClure, is that calling user? Can you identify yourself, please? Hello? Is this Mr. Davis? Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, thank you. Okay, cause number okay on Zayden's case. This is a status hearing, and on Oakley's case, it's also a status hearing. Um, I read the reports. Oh, I didn't get a cost report on Weller. Uh, oh, I did. I did. They're on both. They're on the same um, report. Both kiddos. The mom's doing well. Um, let's see. Children are with aunt. <clears throat> um. Dad's incarcerated, obviously, Miss McClure's taking care of him, and things are rocking along. So we'll just go through the uh, attorneys. Mr. Sturmer, what do you need today? Uh, Judge, if I could call uh, Ashley Osborne real, real quick. Please. Miss Osborne, the, the children in both of these cases are placed with the uh, maternal aunt, is that correct? Yes. Um, and the department was supposed to do a home study on the grandmother. Uh, did y'all complete that home study? The home study was uh, done on it, but then um, the house had sold, so the home study was invalid. Okay, so where is Grandma now? Um, at this time, I do not have an updated address. Okay, when was the last time you had any contact with Friday, her? Friday the 17th or the 14th. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly which Friday it was. Okay, so do you know if she still wants to have the children placed with her? Uh, to my knowledge, yes. Okay, but y'all haven't been communicating to get that home study restarted at this time. 
not at this time now. Okay. Um, any update on the genetic testing that was ordered on the father? Um, I've gotten contact with the prison. I, a letterhead's needing to be sent so that way they can speak with their warden in order to see what the process needs to look like for that to be completed. Okay. Um, I'll pass the witness this time, Judge. Anybody have any questions? <clears throat> oh, I have a question. Now, hold on. You got a lawyer. You can't, you have to go through your lawyer. Uh, okay. No questions. Ms. 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 Chandler, no questions? No. Okay. Next witness, Mr. Sturmer. No questions. Judge, I don't have any witnesses. Uh -huh. um, I saw that Ms. Uh, Chandler had filed a motion to consolidate. I just want to say that uh, the, the cases involve similar issues, um, same yes. parties. So we're we're in support of you consolidating the two cases. Into uh, the Davis case with the earlier dismissal date? I believe that's correct. Okay. I was just looking at the scheduling orders that had some different dates on them. Okay. Okay. Ms. Chandler, any witnesses? No, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Ms. McClure, your client said he sounded like he had some uh, questions or I don't know if you can help him out, out there. Yes, if I could just ask a few questions, Judge. Yes. Uh, Mr. Davis, um, what, what is the question you wanted to ask? Mm -hmm. no, I don't need a, a DNA genetic testing at all. Oh, so you've, uh, you've changed your uh, mind? I, yes, ma'am. I'd like to pass on that. Okay, so just real briefly, um, Worst case scenario, if you're not the dad, uh, the bio dad, and you don't ask for the DNA test to prove that you're the dad, you could be ordered to pay child support for 18 years for these children or longer, and you really can't come back once you've had the opportunity for DNA, can't really come back and ask for it again and try to get out of paying child support. Do you understand that? Uh, I mean, I... I... I wasn't planning on paying the like, you know what I mean? Um, I guess, I guess we can order it, I guess. I, 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 as your attorney, if there is any doubt, I mean, 1% doubt that you are the father of either of these children, my advice is to request for the DNA test to be done. All right. I, I guess I'll order it to be done. Okay, so we're going to have DNA testing done on both of the children. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say, Mr. Davis? Um, uh, not this time, no. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Anybody have any questions, Mr. Davis? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Davis. Could you clarify? Did you say that you weren't planning on paying child support? Is that what you were trying to say? No, sir. I was planning on uh, patching things up with Jazz and being a family again as soon as I could get out in August. <clears throat> That's what I was getting at. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all I have. M Mr. Davis, what are you incarcerated for and how long is your sentence? Uh, I'm incarcerated for continuous family violence. Uh, they gave me a four-year sentence. Uh I'm already up for parole, uh, and I'm eligible for parole in August, so hopefully uh, they let me out in August. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, anything else? Any other witnesses, Ms. McClure? No, not from me, Judge. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. Moore, anything else you need to add that's not in your report? I think we covered everything. We're happy to hear that he's in daycare because I know that that was one thing that we requested. Um, I think Jaslyn's doing great. Um, she did come to us and share that the reasons behind the positive test, which I thought was big of her, which I thought was her uh, taking responsibility for the mistake and that it was unknown that what she was taking had other substances in it. Um, so we, CASA was really relieved to hear that because we just, it didn't add up, you know, um, 
So I think from here on out, uh, I know she said she'll drug test for the rest of her life if she needs to, to be able to have her kids back and she's doing really well. Um, I know Zayden had a little uh, medical concern and he's there on top of it. They're going to the doctor for that. So everything else I think is, is good and Oakley's doing well. Great, great. Okay. Um, yeah, I read that what you said in the report. And I thought that was that was good that she drug tests for the rest of her life. Well, I don't I don't read that. That may be the first time I've ever read that. So that was good. That was positive. So good. Uh, Miss Mystic, what do you need? Yeah, like nothing. I sent you adorable pictures <laughs> of both of them. Um, placement's good. Didn't need anything today, and kiddos are doing great. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Hey, uh, is there anything? Uh, can I get a, some pictures of my kids? Uh, Miss Miss McClure, if you can send some to Miss Mystic, and she can forward them to Mr. Davis. Yeah, I'll send them to Melissa. I, I think you okay, said, I got that backwards, but I got yeah. the <laughs> I got it. You said for me to send them to Dory. I think you meant for Dory to send them to me. Oh. Well, y'all know what I meant. Yes, <laughs> we do. Doesn't yeah. he want to wait till he gets the results of his genetic testing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I would ask that he go ahead and get them now, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, everybody get their pens out. I'll give y'all court dates. Cause uh, first permanency hearing is 621. Second permanency is 927. Our final trial is 1-3-24, and our dismissal date is 1-22-24. So, um, Ms. Weller, you don't have until March anymore. You have till uh, January, which, you know, I mean, it's not that much difference. And it sounds like you're, you know, you're stepping up to play. You look great, and things are going well. So that's good. Um, lawyers is, and CASA, does everybody agree that these hearings can be held via Zoom? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Okay, Mr. Davis and Ms. Weller, y'all have service plans. You have to comply. Your parental rights could be subject to termination, okay? Uh, Mr. Davis, do take whatever classes you can. I, I'm sure uh, Ms. Osborne sent any packets and stuff. If not, Ms. Osborne, be sure and do so, but take yes, whatever uh, uh, packets. Uh, I'm talking, Mr. Davis, hold on. Whatever classes or anything you can that are geared towards the family and family violence, you need to take those and make sure you send your certificates of completion to your attorney, okay? Okay, thank you. Everybody else? Anybody else need anything? Okay, I got the report. Okay, thank you. Looks we'll be like says good uh, kiddos are doing well on a monitored return, um, and things are rocking along. Mr. Sturmer, you may begin. Um, I don't think we're asking for anything new today, Judge. Okay. Uh, thank you. Miss San Miguel, what do y'all need? I don't need anything. Okay, thank you. Mr. Dennis, what do y'all need? Judge, um, <clears throat> it's my understanding that my client has found, he's out of state and he has found several of the um, services that are on his plan through the North American, <clears throat> excuse me, North American Learning Institute. And we would ask that you be um, that the department be ordered to pay for those. They are online uh, classes at this point. So I know he's not in Texas, but uh, we want to get him to be able to do the services that are on his plan, Judge. Ms. Sturmer. Um, I, I guess I was a little bit confused. Uh, he, When this case started, he was here. So why are we going to pay for services out of state whenever he just left after the case started here that he was a part of? Mr. Judge, Dennis? He, Judge, he's, he's living, he's no longer living in the home with the children and the mother. He had to move to New York to live with his, to the, where his family was because that's the where he was able to go to have a place to live. Um, and he's taking, he's trying to get the classes that he's got on a service plan so we can handle these things and he's taking an online class so we're asking that that the department pay for that those classes how much is the class 
Um, it depends on the hourly rate. It looks to be anywhere from $25 to $85 for the for the courses. Um, but I can get, we can get a breakdown to the department if we need to. Are any of the services that he has, are they capable of uh, doing them virtually, like here in Texas? There are providers. Ms. Blasquez, you can answer that question too. Um, I haven't been able to locate specific classes for him yet. I have a therapist who's willing to meet with him virtually, but he's still on a wait list. So uh, we're still waiting on that. And then the psychological evaluation, if he is going to be out here next week for his criminal court, I have him scheduled with Dr. Dayheim. Okay. And so, Kyle, we're just looking at the stuff that's listed in the report for Northern American Learning Institute. Yeah, he's got drug and alcohol awareness classes, parenting classes. Um, there's two of them. There's a behavior modification and an anger management class. I don't, I don't really. I mean, if you can tell us like what the cost is, like the actual cost, you know, we could look into it. When I spoke with Mr. DeShaber, I let him know that the $25 classes that he was interested in were okay. So we can do the, 20, the $25 ones are the ones that he is taking. Okay. okay. And just so the court knows, my understanding is that that is a four hour class for $25. So if that's sufficient with the department, then we're good with that. Ms. Velasquez, is the department going to be okay with the four hour course? Yeah, the, the classes are okay. 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 Is uh, the father paying child support? Not that I, I'm aware of. I just have dad provide what is needed uh, by, from, by mom and the children. Uh, so I think we need to talk about that. I mean, if he can't pay for his own classes, he can pay for some child support. Uh, Ed Lightums, Miss, what do y'all? What does everybody think about that? Yeah, you know, I mean, for me, either way, if he pay for his own hold services, on, hold on, oh, hold on. sorry, Ms. Turner, you're, we're in court. We don't wear hats in court. Okay, go on, Miss Missing. Sorry, I was saying it's kind of either way is maybe he pay for services and then provide in-kind support or pay child support and they pay the class. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, Casa, what do y'all think? Children, to our knowledge, have everything that they need, but um, if whatever you want to order, Judge will agree with. Okay. Mr. Dennis, you understand Ms. Mystic's concern or her issue or her point? Sure. I sure I do. Okay. I'm not going to order any child support, but I'm also not going to have the, uh, he's still supposed to provide personal effects, but I'm not going to order the classes being paid for either. We'll do that in lieu of child support. Okay. Probably have to pay more child support for three than the amount of the classes cost anyway. So I think that's a fair deal. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, anything else you need, Mr. Dennis? No, Your Honor. Okay, Casa, y'all need anything else that's not in your report? Happy with the monitor return? Happy mom's doing well? We are, Your Honor. Y'all keep it in touch with the father? We're gonna touch bases with him again today, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Miss Mystic? Ms. Wait, Mystic, Your Honor, we do have a couple things. Okay, go on. Okay. The, the children are doing well. Um, there is some concern with the middle child. This is Dylan. He seems a little withdrawn and quiet. Um, we're recommending maybe some counseling for him. Okay. And are also, any, I can't remember. If, are any of the children in counseling? No, ma'am. Not at this time. Ms. Velasquez, what do you think about that? Um... I think Dylan is a little bit quiet. Um, I'm sure that he's having a hard time with the situation, um, but if it's recommended for him to do therapy, I can find him therapy. Okay. 
I'm just gonna put children into therapy and we can, I mean, it's not gonna hurt. And with dad being gone, that's gotta be hard. And, um, you know, especially far away, I think that children into therapy set up by CPS. Let's see, by 4, 15, 23. Okay, that's about two weeks. Okay, Ms. Mystic, what do you need on behalf of the children? Um, Judge, the only thing, and, you know, I think they're they're doing well, is that, and I know that a lot of parents don't know this, but saying things like, oh, when I get home or things like that, that that can be confusing. And if we can just kind of hold off with dad saying that, I definitely want them having communication because they miss him. They love him, but not making those statements, kind of the children's bill of rights. And okay. that might be helpful because a lot of parents don't know that when they start, like, why can't I say that? But, you know, and therapy can help with that as well. But that's all I have. And I sent you pictures. Yeah, they're very cute, cute, cute. Okay, I'm going to put the children's bill of rights in effect. In effect. And parents, what that means is um, you can't talk to children about Oh, like Ms. Missick said, when I come home, you know, things are going to be good. Oh, I come home, we're going to go to Six Flags. Oh, um, you can't, like if there's a picture of mom up and you don't like mom, you can't turn the picture down. You can't talk about, oh, dad's doing everything on a service plan. We don't know why he can't see the kids or, you know, you can't talk smack about the other parent. You can't talk smack about me, CASA, CPS, Ms. Mystic. You just have to maintain the status quo of the cases and you talk of the case and you talk to kids about oh how school how you know what's up you, you just you don't stir the pot basically what that is and it will be attached to the order so y'all can see what it is or your all's lawyers can get you that information probably better that lawyers y'all go on and forward that to your clients now so okay so it's in effect and um, the service plans are ordered sounds like your parents are already working on their service plan uh, next hearing is our first permanency hearing. It's 517. We're on a real fast track because we are on the monitored return. Um, does anybody, uh, do y'all have any opposition to the hearings being by Zoom, lawyers at CASA? No, no? ma'am. Okay, we'll put that on Zoom. Parents, y'all have your service plan. You know you got to comply your parental rights to be subject to termination, but everything's going real well. So keep up the good work. Okay, thank you. We'll be in recess. Good luck, everybody. Okay, y'all, this case was reset, excuse me, it was reset from last week because um, uh, y'all, I don't know, y'all talked in the breakout room. So it's uh, set for a permanency hearing. Uh, I, I think there was some report, some issues with some of the drug testing that was reported. Um, I don't have a cost report. Um, Breland is with uh, the grandma in uh, Coryell County. Uh, Mom's boyfriend is in the Coryell County Jail, and Mr. Red Rivers is in Alabama. I don't, he is not here today, and he's not doing anything, to best of my understanding. Miss French, you need to show your face. We're in court. If she didn't show her face in a minute, I'm going to remove her, Miss, Miss uh, San Miguel. Everybody's got to show up. Mr. Rivers is my client and he's working and he advised me that he wasn't going to be able to appear oh, today okay. because he has a new job and he's okay. going to take breaks. This, I texted Miss Darby, Judge. Um, I know we talked last night and um, kind of have an agreement of how to move forward today, but I asked her to sign in. Okay. I'm going to say dad did not appear. Okay. Oh, his attorney did. Okay, Mr. Trimmer, you may begin. Miss Mystic, I wasn't privy to you and Miss Darby's conversation. Um, did you? Oh, I thought we talked. Quick? No, it, it was just that the visits would start um, the unsupervised once we got the hair follicle test back. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> one. Uh, Judge, the oh, the main reason that we reset. Oh, here comes Miss Darby. One of the main reasons we reset last time was because we were confused about these um, these drug tests. Um, right. CPS did talk to their drug test specialists, um, and they decided that they would just do a hair test to try to rule out any uh, drug issues. So I think the mother submitted to that test on 324, but I don't believe we have the results back yet. 
um, mother's uh, therapist um, who I believe is in the waiting room if we need to hear from her um, had said that she would make a, a recommendation for moving mother's visits to unsupervised or increase the results of those tests. Is that Ms. Jordan? Yes, I don't think we really need to bring her in if Ms. Darby's okay with me just proffering that. Um, but I think we're just kind of waiting on the results of that hair test at this point. Ms. Darby, do you need me to bring Ms. Jordan in or you want her to come in just to listen? What do you What do you want? I don't need her to come in, Judge. Okay, okay. Um, and remind, say again, Mr. Sturmer, what are we waiting on for the hair strain results? Because the the issues with the drug tests being diluted, so we decided to do a hair test, and Miss Jordan, mother's therapist, will make a recommendation uh, once she gets that uh, the results of those of that hair test. So um, I guess if you could just do mother's visits for CPS ad litems and mother's therapist. Okay, uh, Miss Missick sent me some pictures. Looks like the family has a good time getting together, and they're they're really cute and. Uh, you know, Breland's really very, very cute little girl. Today's so, her okay. birthday. Oh, it is? Yes. Yeah. Oh. And Judge, I, I yeah. just wanted to ask, I think that because she's now had three clean that we start back with the supervised visits. And that may have started. I may be behind, I, but I if we haven't. We I'm good. I'm good with. Okay. We're, we're, she, we're, heading, we're heading a good direction. Yeah. Thank you. What, well, I, one question I have is mom's boyfriend is in jail. What's he in jail for? If he gets out, are they going to be back together? Anybody know the answer to that question? Ms. Weller? Ms. Um, I don't know if, if they're, um, I don't know what he's in jail for. I, I don't know. I don't think they're going to get back together. There were drug charges, Judge. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, Ms. Shermer, do you need anything else? I don't. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Darby, what do y'all need? Just what we talked about? Yes, Judge, I think based off that hair test, it's my understanding that CPS was going to um, let her start some unsupervised if that was negative. Obviously, if that's positive, then we have some other things we need to talk about. So, um, yeah. other than that, Judge, we're good. Okay. Ms. San Miguel, anything? Just to announce my uh, client got a new phone number. And so I will be sending that out. Um, and I think he misplaced the phone number in the other phone for the therapist because he said he had a call out to him. And so he's hasn't um, behind on services, but I talked to him about that, that it's on him. And even if he's just asking for a visitation, he still needs to do services. So he understands that I'm going to get him in touch with the numbers he needs. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cots and Ms. Baby, what do y'all need? It was doing well, Your Honor. Um, we asked that she remain in the same placement. We followed the plan regarding the hair strand. Um, the since we won't be back before this starts, uh, Miss French is a school teacher, and so during the summer they typically go to the Chicago area. We asked that Braylon be allowed to go with her as she does every summer, and that's their usual routine, and it would be less disruptive for the child. Okay, I'm not going to prove that yet. I'm going to wait till the hair strain comes back, and I'm sure I will get uh, that travel uh, information from Mr. Sturmer later on, closer to the time. Um, I mean, I'm sh assuming everything is going to go fine, then of course I'll approve it, but I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant. I want to wait closer to the trip. And just to clarify, it would be with Miss Kimberly French, the grandmother. Oh, Miss Kimberly French. Okay, yeah, well... Okay, uh, let me. Okay, we're getting to the good point to talk about this. Well, let me get to talk to Miss Mystic first. Miss Mystic, what do you no. need? Um, I think I already talked, and just today's her birthday. She's doing great. You've got the pictures, and yeah. just make sure the uh, um, the supervised have started back and start um, unsupervised if the hair strand is negative. Okay. Um, we the, the trial date is six twenty one. Um, do we need to go to mediation or, I mean, I kind of feel from what y'all are telling me that on 621, we could be maybe looking at a monitored return. 
um, which, you know, then we have the trip to Chicago, you know, all that. Um, is this case headed in the direction that I just, that I'm feeling it is? I think we're definitely looking at either an extension or a monitor return. So I yeah. think that we can hold off on mediation for now. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Anybody have any objection for the uh, future hearings being by Zoom? No? No. Okay. Well, I have uh, Ms. French's order. Uh, sorry, Ms. French's visits per CPS headlines and Ms. Jordan uh, that uh, the trial is 6 21 23. And I'll I'll approve the um, travel thing, you know, later on when it gets closer to it. But I'm, you know, if it's an annual deal and with caregivers, no problem. You know, the only the only thing I would see is maybe it would cut into a little bit of the monitor return. But you know, we want our kids to go on as many trips as they can. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Uh, Miss French, you have a service plan. Like I said, you know, you got to comply. Your parental rights we subject termination, but Things are going well. We're we're in a good spot. Okay, Miss Kimberly French, y'all, you need anything? Okay, good. Okay, thank y'all. I It'll don't see recess. either of the parents. There's Miss Case here, Mr. Dennis. He I don't know where he went. He was here earlier. There he is. Um, I don't see y'all's clients. Y'all know where they are? Uh, Mr. Hall, the, sorry, Judge, it's Mary with FBSS. Yes. Mr. Hall is the iPhone X. He said he can't change his name. Okay. Well, as long as you can identify him, that's okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Dennis, where's your client? I'm not sure, Your Honor, and I'm not at the office, so if she called in, I don't know yet. I, I'm okay. in Illinois at home. How's y'all's office now? Uh, we have a new temporary built-in for now. That's really nice, but that Still building like is getting that building is getting torn down, Arita, and torn down. Well, I think they're getting all the inside out and they're leaving the frame up. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's getting the whole wow. thing's coming down. Wow. Well, it'll be new and shiny. Look pretty good to start out with, but okay. Yeah, there's Mr. Hall. Okay, Miss uh, Miss Mary, it's my understanding from reading your report that, uh, that you are recommending that the case be just dis dismissed. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay, I... Think, I mean, I read that mom was unsuccessfully discharged from therapy. Uh, what are we doing about all that stuff? She was unsuccessfully discharged just because she was on it for months and then she missed two sessions in a row. So they discharged her. But at the time, they didn't have any concerns. Okay. Mr. Dennis, I guess you don't have any opposition to dismissal, right? No, ma'am. Miss K, you good? Yes, ma'am. Miss Mystic? Judge, I'm very good. Um, Kamani, you know, didn't need services. It was just really, you know, the parents. And um, I agree and believe it's in her best interest for the department to be dismissed. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, good luck. I uh, see Mr. Hall. I sort of I, I see a square for Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall, I think you help you and Ms. Clark get along and y'all can work towards best interest of Kamani. And, uh, Everybody's released from further representation, and this case is closed. Yay. Okay, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. I'm just at work, and I was trying to hear you. That's okay. Well, you don't have to hear me anymore. Your case is closed, okay? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Yes, Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Okay, let me see. We've got uh, Mr. Pollard. I saw you. Uh, somebody named Jessica. I don't know who Jessica is. That's mom. Okay, so Miss uh, Paul Hollins is here. I believe, or Casa, I believe that the grandfather, is he still here? Mark Hall, there he is. Okay, thank you. Miss Jordan's here. Okay, this is a compliance hearing. Uh, I read the reports. Looks like, Mr. Looks like Mr. Pollard is doing well. Uh, Miss Hall Hollins has not. I don't think she's gone to counseling. Um, the kiddos are with the grandpa, but there's some issues there because he needs to move. Uh, 
And yeah, sounds we were going to, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we were in a breakout room. We're going to ask if we could reset to next week. There are some things in motion that we're working on that I think we'll have a better idea next week, if that's okay. Let me look at the docket because I know I have to give a speech out of town at four o'clock next week. Yeah. So let me see. That'll be the... Yes. Hoping it'll be more like an announcement. Obviously, you'll have to go through all the services, but more of that we have some just things to announce of hopefully an agreement. I don't know. I said, okay, next week is Browning final is set. Okay. So basically, y'all want this case reset till next Wednesday, right? Yes. Uh, yes, please. Ms. Darby, is that what you want? Yes, Judge. Okay, Ms. Kay, you're good with that? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Wheeler, you're good? I have no direction to be upset with that. Okay, Casa, y'all are good? Yes, Your Honor, Casa's good with that. That is a total Zoom day, y'all are Zoom. I'm Zoom because I could not be in Gatesville and then be in Lano at the same time to do a speech for child abuse, go blue, go blue month. So, um, Nobody has any opposition to that. Okay. Do y'all need Ms. Jordan at that hearing? No, no, ma'am. I had asked for Ms. Jordan just to get some general information about services from her, but um, I don't need her as a witness. Okay. Anybody else? No. Okay, Ms. Jordan, you're off the hook next week. So that's good. Um, okay. Well, I don't know the time. I'm going to go over the docket later with Mr. Sturmer and, uh, y'all check the docket later on. Probably tomorrow will be posted and, uh, y'all have the times available tomorrow, uh, later on. Okay. So this cause number is, five, four, uh, reset for week, which is four, five. Thank y'all. Thank you. We'll and, um, Judge, I need to jump on a quick call with Ms. McClure and her client and Ms. Jordan, okay. and then okay. we'll probably need a breakout room to discuss Everybody's going to testify. maybe some Please agreements on the next Do one. you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, this is a compliance hearing. Y'all have been visiting. Uh, we'll just start with Mr. Sturmer. What's going on, Mr. Sturmer? Judge, I'm going to let Ms. Mystic announce what we're doing today. Okay. Um, Judge, I think we're agreed that um, there was a recommendation from the therapist that the visits, um, be the phone calls be supervised and that dad have visits supervised. And I think we're all agreeing today that his visitation schedule per the last order is restored completely and that will still remain in the case and they'll continue with their co-parenting and their therapy. Okay. Okay. Ms. McClure, what do you need today? Um, I think that um, this is good for uh, uh, dad to be able to show us that, you know, uh, him having his regular visits back, um, that that's going to work. Um, I understand that dad's recently moved and it sounds like that might also be a good, a good change for him and, and, uh, easier access for him for his, uh, his disability. So, um, uh, I think that, um, mom may need, uh, depending on how long we're in here, mom may need to work on getting another person that can help with, um, drop-offs and pickups and stuff. Um, uh, because I believe her primary person is going to be busier in the summer so I'll work with mom to get a person approved by the department that can assist her with that. Okay, thank you. Ms. Kay? Your Honor, I need to confirm that as my client's visits have been restored, um, for, the, for this court's previous order, his um, paramour um, was not to be present for any of the visits between him and Kinsley. But of course, if he's going to go back to every other weekend, she can't really be kicked out of her house every other weekend. Um, there's another child in that home who has a significant health problem and he has to have infusion therapy every week and it leaves him, you know, nauseous and, you know, ill. And it's very, very difficult on that child to have to leave the home, um, every time Kinsley comes over and there's never been any allegations that, you know, this little boy in Kinsley, it, that there's, there's never been any problem between the two of them. They have a good you know, sibling relationship. 
And so I just want to confirm that since his visits are restored, that, you know, his paramour and that child can remain in the home during the visits. Did y'all discuss that in the breakout room? No, but I, that was my understanding. We probably should have. We've been talking a few days without going into at length discussions, but that was my understanding. Is And we just need to make sure they remain in their co-parenting therapy and all of that. And if there becomes a problem, I'm sure Ms. McClure will be back. Well, that, that does bring up another question, Judge. If he's moved to Colleen, then I'm I'm thinking that maybe he has to be responsible for picking up and dropping off the child. He's, he's always been in Colleen. He's always been in Colleen. He well, was always um, there. I think he's closer probably to Cove now. I don't know. Well, um, I, I don't know. I, I think Miss K has an issue. Um, do y'all need to go back in the breakout room and discuss that? I mean, the previous, the, when I said restored back, he was responsible for doing the pickup and return of that child. I think they picked up from school. I don't have a problem with the pickup and return. <clears throat> what I'm concerned about is what Miss Kay said about the girlfriend, Paramore, oh. being around. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, if I, they, think I think y'all needed, I mean, I, I could be making a mountain out of molehill. I don't know. I don't know. I just think that's an issue. I'm not sure y'all discussed. We didn't today. We have before, but I guess we can pop back in. Okay. Y'all go back in the breakout room and discuss okay. that. And any other the number issues? three, uh, I guess, whatever the, yeah, whatever the last one y'all went into is. And Mr. Yeah. Dane is going with them too. And any other issues that need to come up? That so judge, I think where we are, are is visits are restored from the, their order. Um, the transportation language in their order is dad does pick up and return. And obviously they were doing that before we got involved and they, they worked that out with other folks in their life. And it is our understanding with visits being restored, there's no restrictions on uh, Paramore in the home at this time. Okay. And Bob, the little boy. Um, okay. If there's any violations of this, I want y'all to immediately notify me for the request for a quick uh, temporary hearing. Okay. Uh, this case, uh, and, and you know, this is the participation, uh, the way they redid the participation statute in the last session. I'm sure, it'll get redone this session too. But the participation case only goes on for six months. So, Mr. Sturmer, you're going to need to file a motion to extend. I don't know what the, I can't remember. It doesn't happen very much because most participation cases go away. Uh, or, you know, resolved by six months. Uh, but there's going to need to be a motion to, I, I said, extend, continue, whatever the proper word is, the uh, participation. If we go past about the dismissal date, we have is 5-15. Do y'all want to have a hearing right before that to see if that's even going to be necessary? Okay, let me see. Yes. Okay. Let me look at court dates. 5-3 and 5-17. Looks like 5-3 will be our next compliance hearing. Everybody agree that can be a uh, be a Zoom? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to say uh, Mr. O'Neill's prior uh, visits per the prior order uh, are restored. Our next compliance hearing is 5-3-23, and it's agreed that it can be on Zoom. Is that all y'all need today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ms. Jordan, as always, thank you for you had it sounds like you had a lot of cases on the docket today. And, <laughs> and uh but parents, and we'll see y'all on 5-3 on Zoom. Thank you. Thank y'all. Bye.